101 years and a few months ago, Bavaria was a Soviet republic, although it didn't last very long. And in case you're wondering how you managed to miss that bit in history classes where the USSR invaded Munich, no, it wasn't quite like that. Go back to November 1918. The First World War has ended, leaving Germany devastated and humiliated. A lot of people are very upset, and revolution is in the air. The Russians have just got rid of their Tsar, so now's the time for Germany to get rid of its kings and emperor. On the 7th of November, the Bavarian king was deposed in what was probably the nicest revolution in history. He was taking a walk in the park and was stopped by a passerby who informed him that the Kingdom of Bavaria was now the Free State of Bavaria. He went back home to find the palace in darkness after all the servants had walked out. It wasn't all that bad. He basically retired, saying that he was prepared to return to the throne if that's what the people wanted and then turned to the more urgent matter of his daughter's wedding. A few days later, the Kaiser, effectively the king's boss, was forced to abdicate. So now, the German Empire was a republic and Parliament could start democratic reforms. Inevitably, though, all these different revolutionary groups that had previously been united in their desire to get rid of the monarchy fell out over exactly how to run the country, which resulted in chaos and civil unrest, which killed well over 2,000 people in both Munich and Berlin. It was a bit of a mess. Parliamentarians were fighting against revolutionaries, revolutionaries were fighting against each other, and everybody was fighting against the monarchists. It was not a good time to be alive, and did I mention that this all happened during a pandemic? Bavaria was being led by a man called Kurt Eisner, a social democrat who believed that the people of Bavaria all supported him. Unfortunately, they didn't, and so in February 1919, he tried to resign. Yes, tried. He just finished writing his resignation speech when he was assassinated, which was very unsporting of the assassin. Eisner's party reacted very badly, shutting down several newspapers out of fear of a possible putsch. That didn't exactly go down well. Out of the ensuing chaos, the Bavarian Soviet Republic was declared on the 7th of April. Soviet is simply Russian for council. The idea is that instead of a top-down system of the king telling everybody what to do, people are represented locally by councils. At least, that's the theory. Surprisingly, though, the Communist Party didn't participate. They didn't like the fact that workers' councils weren't elected. On the 13th of April, there was an attempted right-wing coup which was thwarted, but while the fighting was still going on, the soldiers and workers' councils declared a true communist Soviet Republic. Two of the leaders were originally from Russia, and this meant that the right could now start a propaganda campaign warning of the dangers of Russian Bolshevism. At this point, maybe literally asking Lenin for help was not the best tactic. So more unrest ensued, as well as splits within the whole of the socialist movement, and in the interest of keeping this video short, let's just say that it all ended rather badly for the revolutionaries. Troops surrounded Munich, and finally, after weeks of chaos and instability, ended the Bavarian Soviet Republic in the first week of May. A new constitution for Bavaria called the Bamberg Constitution was drawn up and signed on the 14th of August. It came into effect on the 15th of September and provided at least a little stability. For a while. Unfortunately, it wasn't long before the Nazis came to power. Although technically the constitution wasn't replaced until 1946, in actual fact it was pretty much rendered ineffective in 1934 as part of the process of transforming Germany to a totalitarian state. Unfortunately, they didn't, and in February 1919 he tried to uh, do something by shutting down several newspapers out of fear of a possible push. Put putch Saying that he was prepared to return to the fro th throne? How old am I? Five? 